Now then, welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind server. Today, I'm uh, fairly just back on off holiday. I'm just back off the holiday. I don't really know <laughs> exactly where I left off. I've been digging around a little bit up here, doing a bit of messing about, digging just this little bit around here. Just uh, starting to formulate some ideas ready for this episode. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going with anything just yet, uh, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're going to get there. Um, I'm looking at doing some stuff like this, going up to the roof. Some sort of suspended apparatus out of iron because well we've got a lot of iron on the server so easy enough done uh, also there used to be a wall here i don't know if you remember that uh, that up there used to be a little slope and there used to be tons and tons and tons of netherrack around here i've broken it all down took it all down and uh, cleared away a huge area you can see how flat this is over here uh, it's hopefully going to get a lot flatter over the course of time and that will be slightly less of a sloping incline as well. Over there, we've got a nice big open expanse. Uh, and I'm trying to encourage that. I'm trying to include that. Uh, I do have a lot of gas, though, around the place, which is annoying. But over here, we've got a nice big open area. And I want to take all of this back so that the open area is open straight to the hub itself. Uh, but that's just a lot of digging, so I can't really just sort of sit here and do dig, dig, dig all day, every day. And then expect you to watch me do some more digging. So, I'm trying to work on something today uh, that I can mess about with. Now I'm back off holiday. Um, uh, one of the things is this stairwell here. Uh, that could be accessible from the hub up there. So that's... That's kind of a, a good place to be. I can have the hub directly connect to the wither killing area, which is good, which will get rid of this whole staircase going down. And the other stairwells would come off this platform. I've got a stairwell here that goes off, and I've got a stairwell here that could come off here as well. So I've got two stairwells there and nothing on the other side. So I'm coming up with some ideas. I'm coming up with some plans and things that I could possibly do to make it look cool. And hopefully it will by the time I'm finished. Now I've just decided on a change of plan. A slight change of plan. That I don't want it to be quite as low as that. So I'm going to take another bucket and try and sort this out quickly. Because, well, I was testing it out to see if the lava would look cool. And it does kind of work. It's just not quite high enough. So, I'm going to make it a bit higher. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is... I don't think that... No, there's no way of getting into that. So, I'll just let it burn. Take that out of there. And then break all this down again. Okay. <clears throat> so, what am I trying to achieve here? I'm trying to achieve some kind of... Um, super cool visual effects some sort of cool looking thing i get rid of those i don't need those anymore um but i've not decided exactly where this is all leading um i'm going to try and keep it so that the sides are uh, always half slabbed or stared or there's something on top of these full blocks like the iron bars i've got to try and keep to that at least that's one thing that i've kind of discovered for myself so far uh, let's throw wait, some of these in here that's not where I wanted you thank you uh, let's do something like this so we've already got spawnable locations and I want to get rid of the spawnable locations in every way shape or form around this place but I do want to sort of suspend these areas as best as I can uh, from the ceiling i also want to do something in the middle that allows us to have an access straight up because having that that ladder up there is not going to work maybe having a ladder going up there to the hub is a thing but not a very good thing and that with a skeleton over there should not be spawning 
everybody is spawning on this section here. So there's some some area around here, you see. This is why I need to half slab it, because of those things like that. Spawning ground, because there's an old fortress underneath us, so I don't want to mess about with that. Uh, so, we're going to just mess with some iron bars and hope that I've got enough on me to get all the way up there. And while I'm working on it, I shall tell you a little bit of a story about my holiday in Scotland. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you're interested. Uh, bomb. Day, day, how many? Three up? Yeah, I think three up's probably a good idea. Three up, and then put a lava source. Yep. Yeah, and then bring them across. This is basically what I am doing here. There we go. So now that's locked in and no one... Wait, okay. People can not accidentally hurt themselves like I just did. Good job, me. Good job. Great. Excellent. Just what I was looking for. Good. I'm going to die. I'm going to die of fire. Stinking, horrid fire. Dang it. <laughs> Good job, me. <laughs> I didn't think anyone could fall in there. I wasn't thinking like that. I wasn't thinking anyone would fall in it. Dang it. Okay. So no pigmen have picked up anything while I've been here. Uh, oh, straight back through. It's not far. At least I set, reset my spawn this time so I don't have to go running around all over the place. But that was a silly start, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, silly start. I didn't think I could fall into that. Honestly, I didn't think I could fall into that. But yeah, I did, didn't I? And that's the way it goes. <laughs> My first death since back from holiday. Okay. Gather, 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 gather. All of the things. All of the things. Okay. Uh, that, that. That goes onto there. That goes into there. Oh, man. Okay, let me just gather gather my belongings, get myself sorted out, and get myself back up there and try and sort it all out, make sure I'm all tidied and sorted properly. And I'll be back in a mo. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. We're getting we're getting higher. That's what we're doing. We're getting we're getting somewhere a bit higher up. That's definitely a thing. Getting somewhere higher up. Um I'm just now figuring out where the levels are to finish this off. And two, three, oh uh, yeah. There we go. Alright, so I don't know how exactly I want this finished off, to be honest. I haven't 100% decided on any of this yet. This is all very, very much a random, I don't know what it is that I'm doing until it looks right. This is me just placing blocks. I do a lot of building this way, like just, just place blocks until it looks right. And if I get a good idea just by look, then I'm happy. Um, something like this. And then we've got a full stop. There we go. So that looks like it's kind of held up by that. That's good. Okay. Um, can I uh, pop a pearl down there? Thank you. Let's see what it looks like from down here. Okay, so we go all the way up. It's, uh, it's very chain-like, isn't it? That's a good start. We want very chain-like. I decided to put the lava in the hole down there to give a light source without actually like using the light of the lava all the way up. Because once I did the next couple, the lava didn't quite look right in the first section. So I'll change that around a little bit, and hopefully that's going to look right. I still don't know whether to do a double chain or the single chain. I think the single chain might look better overall because it's sort of hanging on like that. And then at the base doing the double chain, I think that might be okay. Uh, but, but, but it's got to look right from all angles. And from this angle, it's looking okay. From this angle... It's okay, but then what do I do with the next ones? Do I do them all exactly the same way up? I think so. So what I got planned was some other ones over here. 
uh, like another one, two next to each other, very close next to each other going up to set those off and do that on each of the corners like this corner over here as well. Uh, I don't have any lava to put in this one right now, but that'll do. And once the netherrack's all set up and moved away, that should look a lot better. And when it's hanging from all four corners like that, should look a great deal better. Let's see. Well, I don't think they look too bad for a staff. I don't think they look too bad at all. Um, I'm constantly fighting an inventory full of netherrack. But that's okay, I'm having to carve my way up through some areas that I haven't cleared out yet. Um, these, the backdrop for these is meant to be a lot more open. So you won't be able to see the netherrack. But I need to get the format of where I want to be and all that kind of stuff first. So I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Uh, I've come up with a little cunning plan just round here, I think. Just to make this liven up a little bit more. Uh, just wait there. Thank you. Not there. Give me that back. Cheers. And then a few half slabs around here. Uh, did I have some more? Yes, I did. There we go. Yeah, I'm just trying out ideas at the minute to cover in the nether brick uh, or the nether rack, should I say. So we've got half slabs and we've got fence posts on things and all that kind of stuff. Um, these little bits here, I'm thinking of having those as slightly more arched in bits. And this side here, this kind of bit here, instead of just having straight chains going up, I'm trying to figure something out for it and duplicate that on this side as well. Uh, trying is the word for it because that's all I've got going for me at the minute, trying to. Um, just got to decide where things are lining up properly and things like that so we were one behind it i think and then one two and then a block of iron give me that block of iron now one two three yeah that looks about right yep that's about right okay and then we can have some of this oh man building episodes you gotta love them in you you gotta love these building episodes when I get to grips with what I'm trying to achieve and trying to get something sorted out. I hope you uh, like the progress reports from the last time, the uh, Nemsons Log stuff. Uh, but I can't do a Nemsons Log every time because today I'm just getting cracking on with experimentation. Just checking out the experimentation of it all to try and make it work right. Uh, that's going to go there. Um, did I? I don't think I had a space there, did I? No, I had an iron block between the two, so there was nothing different there at all. Okay, so I'll just fill this bit in. Okay, and go round like this, and then that should be another section like so. There we go. Should be good. There and there and there and there. And then finish that up with another four iron blocks. The last four iron blocks that I had in my inventory, I think. Yeah, because they're quartz. And then fill all of this in like this. It forms a wall against the outside world for the hub. Uh, not only do I want to build it up so that it looks cool... I also want to build it up so that, um, like from that direction, when you're walking across the hub, no gas in the sky will actually be able to pinpoint you and target you. It's safe enough here, you're not going to die, but still, having a gas firing at you every time you come through here is going to be a bit of a pain in the arse. So I don't want to do that. I don't want people having to force themselves into that. Um, but I also want to keep pigmen from running around all over the place so having no spawning what was that a, a block having no spawning areas is one way and uh, that also stops all of those uh, blazes and all those kind of stuff the wither skeletons and stuff that is all got to stop i don't want any of that stuff uh i do want to check out what's up there though because this 
stairwell into the nether is pretty cool looking and we're just going to follow it up this is where you kill the wither boss and if i can get another place for it straight away then that's less messing later on uh so we're about here let's go this way and i should hit the hub uh-huh here's the hub so let's uh yeah make a way downstairs i guess i could just like open this out a little ways just so that we can get to the stairwell like this way oops i don't want to go i don't want to go too high but at the same point i want to hit those stairs fairly swiftly so people can still just join onto the stairs when they want to all of this has got to come out anyway but i don't normally just do all this ripping through on camera i just sit here with a cup of coffee and just chill out and do this sort of stuff um yeah i was planning on talking to you about the uh, scotland holiday i just had we went to scotland and well it was me my wife my three children and my brother and my mother uh, it's basically a family holiday to celebrate my birthday and the celebration of my birthday ended up being pretty late it was like what do you want to do for your birthday uh i want to do something because it's my 40th that's special oh i will uh do you want to go on holiday there's an idea yeah let's go on holiday how about a tour of scotland that can't be too bad can it that's going to be affordable and something we can do we can either drive up and then use public transport or we can take a, a camper van or something like that and then then the idea came to have one of these coach tours pre-planned all sorted you just pay for everything inclusive and then the coach tour drags you around all over the place and that was pretty good it was successful that was a good idea i liked it it was pretty good uh-huh so yeah mm-hmm Mm -hmm. This is what I do. I go, uh, mm hmm, I make villager noises while I'm looking at things. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So anyway, yeah, we went to Scotland. We had a very long journey on a coach all the way to get there in the first place, and then once we got there, we were exploring and uh, basically following the coach from hotel to hotel, and they were just giving us the information we needed as we went and we spent the first day um after staying the first night in a hotel we spent the first day uh, having a look around uh, inverness and going on a steam train through some really nice places in scotland some nice scenery in scotland and then after that we went to a uh, gardens was that right i'm forgetting already what we were doing uh it went around a gardens in scotland but it was more the scenery of the highlands on the way up there really inspiring scenery a uh, great setting for well if i could duplicate it in minecraft i surely would the terrain generation in scotland is amazing calling it terrain generation that's just sad isn't it uh yeah the terrain generation in scotland was awesome uh, so I don't know if I'll be going again ever but it was definitely well worth going that one time and we all enjoyed ourselves so uh, yeah we're, we're happy with the tour uh, the uh, one rainy day we had was going to the gardens and of course gardens all outside that was the one one time it was bad weather but that was okay because we were still together having fun and all that kind of stuff uh that, that and that and that get out of my way mr pigman um you just determined aren't you get up get up and out get up and out of my way okay don't then fine block you off right that was the same as the last one? Yeah, that was the same as the last one. Okay, so, yeah, then we went to a Dunrobin Castle. Dunrobin Castle was pretty cool. Uh, we we enjoyed that a lot. That was a, a good time. There was a falconry on, a Scottish falconer. 
uh, showed us a bit about falconry, falconry and eagles and owls and all that kind of stuff. Birds of prey, had in, having these birds swooping across our heads, um, just basically scaring the life out of us. Yep, that was a thing. That was a thing we paid to do. <laughs> uh, yes, the kids loved that though, because that was uh, birds of prey swooping around over your head. It's pretty awesome. And you can get up or out of the way again, please. Thank you. Go. Thank you. Alright. These, these dang pigmen, man. Right. So there we go. So that settled that up a bit more. It's building up. It's building up. I'm trying to build up and curve in and just sort of like link things together and make it almost a shallow dome, I think. A shallow dome is what I'm trying to look for. But I need to, I need to start building it up from the ground up. Um, we went to s the uh, castle in Scotland, and then after the castle in Scotland, we went to uh, Loch Ness. We went to Loch Ness, and we got on a boat and uh, sailed around Loch Ness for a, an hour or two. And uh, the best part of that, I think, the kids loved the most was that the. Uh, um, the driver of the boat allowed the kids to drive the boat. Now, that sounds like a scary thought, doesn't it? Uh, letting the kids drive the boat. But it wasn't so bad, really. It wasn't so bad. They they didn't really have a lot to worry about. It wasn't a lot to worry about at all. Uh, they just literally, when he told them to turn one way or another, they just followed him and it was easy enough. And they were ever so, ever so uh, proud of themselves because they had gone into uh, the boat and uh, gone through the process of uh, driving or piloting the boat. They absolutely loved it, I tell you. Give me, give me a piece. Can I have a piece? Thank you. Just wanted one more bucket of lava just to experiment with this next bit. There's so much lava down here as well. I would like to be able to open it all up. Like, there's just little overhanging bits. I could get rid of a load of overhanging bits and have lava showing through. And it doesn't... It feels like it's going to take a long time, but it doesn't actually take that long once you start... Once you start cutting it back and uh, carving away at it. It doesn't really take long with these tools at all. I mean, look how thin and skinny some of these bits are. They're just skinny bits. There's, like, three or four levels... Uh, layers there... But from underside, it looks like it's a hell of a lot. But when you start stripping it down, it soon disappears under your feet. Especially with this netherrack soft as butter stuff. Um, uh, like, all of that there won't take too long to just rip apart and smooth down. Should be good. Alright, well, <clears throat> I've got to carry on messing around and doing some more designing and doing stuff around the place to try and get it to work. Uh, nether smeltery now open. Yep, that way. That's where I just went. Nether smeltery. It's pretty awesome, that nether smeltery, actually. I don't know why we need this one at the hub anymore. Uh, but the woolly smeltery in the blaze farm will probably use the blaze rods directly, which is what it's meant to do. Which, that's much better, I guess. And let's do... I want to put lava in these, but I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, that'll do. I just want to keep the place lit, but without... It's subtle lighting, isn't it? It's subtle. Subtle lighting. It's pretty good. Subtle lighting. Uh, so I need four more... Uh, three more buckets of that. And then I've got to figure out going into the sides here. And how to link it all in in the ceiling. Because I don't necessarily want the glass roof there. I want to link the ceiling in sort of at that point. So I want to maybe arch it or something... And have some sort of barrier around so people can come and have a look down at the hub. And also I've got to think about doing some sort of uh, elevator here. Possibly a minecart elevator. As simple as it sounds, a minecart elevator with, well, stuck inside these kind of bars. Like every so often you click up and you get to the next elevator block, uh, next minecart that might actually work quite well. But I don't know yet. I don't know. It is time, though, for me to log off and finish this recording. So 
Thank you very much for watching. It's another little stage. I hope you like the look of them. I hope they're pretty cool. I'm going to carry on working on them and bring bring you back when I've got some more work done. Uh, so thank you very much for watching another episode of Hypermine. I will see you very soon for another epic, epic build session in the Netherlands.